Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into a topic that's often overlooked but incredibly important, which is indoor air quality. Numerous clinical studies have shown that human performance and decision making is impaired when indoor CO2 levels reach 1000 ppm. So today we're reviewing the Inkbird IAM-T1 air quality sensor. This small sensor can measure CO2 levels in your home, classroom, RV, garage, etc every one, two, five, or 10 minutes and provide real-time alerts and stored data. Measuring carbon dioxide or CO2 is the current gold standard for measuring the indoor air quality. In fact, many companies will measure their CO2 to ensure that the offices have proper ventilation in place. Normal levels in occupied spaces with good ventilation are between 400 to 1000 ppm. Above 1000, people will begin to show signs of drowsiness. I've had this sensor in my home for two weeks. I put it in the kitchen first because I wanted to see if the gas stove and cooking would affect my CO2 levels. Oftentimes, family members forget to turn on the stove fan for small cooking jobs. And using this sensor, I was able to see huge spikes in CO2 levels up to 1200 within just a few minutes. This indicates that proper ventilation is important and to always turn on the kitchen vent fan when cooking. I then put it in my car for a long road trip with the recirculation button on, which I usually do to avoid smelling diesel exhaust. But after some time, I did realize that it caused the CO2 levels to peak, so I cycle the recirculation button on and off now as needed. The Inkbird CO2 detector uses a Swedish-made air sensor. This measures how much infrared light of a specific wavelength is absorbed by the surrounding air and can give you an accurate measurement of CO2 levels. Inkbird then packages this high-tech sensor into their amazing ink screen, which can be read easily from all angles in direct sunlight as well. This provides real feedback of the air quality for other family members. The T1 is rated at four years of battery life using the 10 minute sample setting. It also includes Bluetooth 5.0 for long range connectivity to your phone. Not only does it read and record CO2, but it also takes temperature, humidity, and air pressure readings. What I like most about this sensor is the large screen that's easy to read and the ability to record all this data. I also like the design of the case and I think it looks like something that would fit into people's home decor pretty well. If I was gonna change anything, I would have it integrate into other smart home companies so it can alert family members with a speaker to high CO2 levels instead of just notifying me on my phone or the included screen. But anyway, I think it's a great little device and it's performing just as advertised. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the video description below and we'll see you in the next video.